Have you ever wondered how we can simulate 3D sound just using headphones? How do we give the brain the impression that the sound is in front of us, behind us, or in some specific location? To understand how to do this, you just have to remember how the auditory system processes sound locations. The brain uses three clues. The first clue is the interaural time difference. This just reflects the fact that if a sound comes from my left, it will reach my left ear likely before it reaches my right ear. The brain uses this difference in time in order to process the likely location of the sound. The second clue is the interaural intensity difference. That just reflects the fact that a sound coming from my left will be slightly louder in my left ear than in my right ear. This is particularly true for higher frequencies because the head produces what we call an acoustic shadow. So if the sound comes from my left, there'll be an acoustic shadow on my right. The third type of clue that the brain uses is subtle differences in the spectral characteristics of the sound as a function of whether they are coming from in front of us or behind us. And this is due to the way the sound bounces uh, our outer ear to get into our ear canal. This is essentially why we have asymmetrically shaped ears, so that the sound will not bounce the same way into the ear canals uh, if they come from the front or if they come from the back. Knowing this, we can then manipulate the stereo sound to build some of these clues into it. And as we do, we'll be tricking the brain into believing that the sound comes from a specific location. Now to do this, we're going to be using a technology called head-related transfer functions. Head-related transfer functions are a kind of filter, if you will, that you can apply to a stereo sound. And these filters are built based on a series of recordings that were produced with a KMAR mannequin. This KMAR mannequin mimics the shape of a human torso and head and has very sensitive microphones located in the ear canals. Now in a sound control environment, a series of clicks will be played around this mannequin from all kinds of angles. The recordings taken from the left and right microphones in the ear channels of that mannequin will then be used to build filters that we can then use and apply to any stereo sound. In order to do this, we're going to be using a free software, a digital audio workstation software called uh, Reaper. And we're also going to be using a plugin, a free plugin called Anaglyph. Both are free and can be downloaded from the internet. Okay, so here I have a soundtrack and here I have my uh, plugin, Anaglyph. Anaglyph uses these head related transfer functions I mentioned just a second ago. And we're going to be using those to apply transformations to the sound in real time and you'll be hearing as the sound moves around us. Now, in order for this to work, we need to listen to this with headphones so that we can control very precisely what will be played into our left and right ears. Okay, so let's have a go. I'm gonna play this sound and I'm gonna be moving the sound source around first in azimuth, so we'll be maintaining the sound um, more or less at nose level and we'll be moving it around the head. Okay, let's have a go. So now the sound is right here in front of me, in front of my nose. I'm going to be moving it left. Here it's on the left. And I can move it further away from my head. So now it's further away, it's some distance from my head. I'm going to bring it back and move the sound to the back of my head. Moving right and back to the front. Let's play with elevation. Let's put the sound somewhere here to the left and I'm going to raise it up okay so now it's somewhere up there and i can keep it up there but moving slightly before me okay so now it's right there let's go around the head one more time Let's bring it down in elevation below my head. Let's go around. So 
and let's bring it back in front of my nose. All right. Okay, and that's how you simulate 3D sound with just left and right channels. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.